Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing and UK One Wheel Channel. So, paddle boarding tonight. I've got my Hurley 10 6x30, and this is my brother over here. So, he's treated himself to the new version. This is the 2022 year model Hawaiian Hawaii, uh, Midnight, Tropics. Midnight Tropics. I want to call it Hawaii Tropics. That's a film that is. Uh, Midnight Tropics. So, this is a 10 8 by 32 inch wide, so it's slightly longer and it's slightly wider than my board. As you can tell, it is still in the wrapper. So do the deeds, my man, and let's have a look. Let's check it out. Let's just move mine. I've just been blowing mine up. Oh, yeah, it's quite a bit wider, isn't it? So first looks. The unboxing or the unwrapping. Hey, that's well funky, man. It is definitely Hawaii 5 on this bad boy. That's quite cool. It's got the Hurley on the handle, look, so this one doesn't. Okay. Um, but this one does. So that's quite cool. It's got additional lit. So that's oh, got this kayak seat. Ah, right, so it comes with a kayak seat, does it? No, it doesn't come with it. You can add it. And the other thing which I mentioned in my other video, it's guys. Go oh, it's got a screen name. Ah, we could put the Insta360 on that. I should have waited. Because on this one, we've got the metal key rings, and on mine, which if you go back to my video review, we've got the plastic, and this is linked and tied in where you've got a clipperball. So that's quite a good upgrade over the pre-existing one, which is this one here. I'm gutted mine hasn't got a mount because I could screw my Insta360 straight into that. Um, get a, a mail to mail upgrade time. I've only e been on this once. E eBay. <laughs> eBay. Anybody want to buy it? Buy it. Nah, so cool. So guys, we're going to get these blown up. Um, we are in Exeter. This is the canal at the quay. So this way, just down to my right, we've got turf locks. We've got double locks, motorway and Exeter up to my left. And again, this should be quite good fun. We have got our wet seats on because I fell in a lot last time, um, which was quite embarrassing. Um, but yeah, fun. Um, so yeah, we're going to get these blown up and uh, we'll see you on the water. I have rigged up a little bit of a back brace. So instead of actually mounting you guys on my oar and wiggling you around and making you feel sick, I've got something that I've modified, which I'll show you on the screen now. And that is a back strap. It's actually for keeping your shoulders back. So that should be interesting to see what the footage is like. So stay with me, guys. We're going to get these blown up and we'll see you in a sec. Right, guys, here we go to comparison. So starting on the base of the board, what an awesome graphic. And I will say 10 out of 10 to Hurley for developing the product. Now, on my board, these smaller fins you can see just here, they are actually fixed to the board and bonded. And you've got this turn screw just here, which actually mounts the back fin in. And that can be a little bit fiddly, fiddly because you've got a metal um, stainless steel uh, like washer with a threaded bit in that's square, which you've got to screw into. But on the new board, you've got these awesome new click in, click out fins. So it literally is as simple as you would simply push this lever down and they click out and they click back in again, like so. And that is on all three fins. So massive improvement there. Back of the board is slightly wider because obviously it's two inches wider than the uh, the outgoing Hurley or the current Hurley, whichever one will look at it. And obviously this is a 10.8 opposed to the 10.6, which is my board. Um, really, really cool. I think we've got a bit of a upgrade on the paddle here as well, by the looks of things. So slightly, slightly different design on the paddle. And it's kind of like carbon slash fiberglass or composite. So that's very, very cool. And like I say, on the front of the board, we do have, I'll just grab that mate and roll that over quickly. We've got those D-rings. So the back is the same. This blows up to 18 to 22 PSI. And my board just here, if we flip that over, is 15 to 17 PSI. We've got D-rings for the seat. Again, that lovely Hurley logo on the centre handle and we've got this bungee strap which is actually clippable so you can actually unclip this with metal d-rings opposed to our plastic ones and if you looked at the unboxing of my board that was one of my critiques that if these break and obviously we've got a problem but with the metal ones it's somewhat more robust and the front also you've got a mount here so you've got um, a female mount to screw in for gopro or insta360 which is really really cool absolutely loving that opposed to i've just got a d-ring but awesome, we're gonna get on the water and uh, make some fools of ourselves. So, see you in a sec. 
Okay, sadly this is not a sponsored link by Hurley, but why not go over to the website and have a look at their brand new Hurley collection. My brother's board's there in the mid middle, which is the Midnight Tropics, and my board is from the Hurley Original Selection. Hey guys, here we go. So my brother's never stood on the paddleboard. I wouldn't step off and stand on it. I'm not <laughs> No, actually do. This would be brilliant. Here we go. You'll find kneeling down would be slightly easier. Where do you want to go down towards turf locks? <laughs> Second time on a paddle board. Surely it must get more stable. Why is possible? <laughs> yeah! First time, is that your first time ever standing up? Oh, I'm quite tied up on some weeds here. I think those extra two inches, they say, it always makes a difference. <laughs> Did say about bending your legs. Oh, mate, I really wouldn't be worried about that. <laughs> you analyzed stuff way too much. The book says three one time. <laughs> He's going for it. As soon as you fall in, you jump back up again. I don't know how they bring boats down here without chopping up all the propeller. Ah, right. Do you know what? I wonder why it's going slow. I've got the world's biggest weed behind me. Oh. In that lot now, that's better. God, what a difference! I was thinking to myself, how on earth are you making up so much ground? Oh, nearly went in.
Yeah, there's quite a few fish in there. Oh, I haven't seen any that big. <laughs> yeah. Do you see what like you you got these aspirations of like, oh yeah, let's do this and let's do that. Don't create me any wake. <laughs> Oh mate, I really wouldn't be worried about that. That's what oh. makes it a bit... Oh! <laughs> oh, it's just thinking weed stuff, man. It slows you down. believe how much like drag it creates. Oh, it's clear over here mate. I must admit your board does look a lot wider. Paddling like five miles? Yeah, I know. Call the weeds in my right. under here so guys there we are first ride out on the hurley 10.8 what's it i want to call it hawaiian tropics yeah, midnight, tropics. midnight tropics just over there it's pretty cool man on the water great camera shot ka -chink. Yeah. and then we've got my 10.6 again i do think that the extra two inches on that board over there in my opinion, makes it look a little bit more stable, as you can see. Um, there's an immense amount of weeds in here. And your fin picks it up. And uh, do you know what? One thing I have noticed as well, the wind. There's hardly any wind, but even if we sit stationary, we are motoring. Absolutely motoring. Anyway, let's try a stand. Here he goes. Yeah. So guys, quick video, quick review. 
other side, Midnight Tropics versus the early version of the 10.6 uh, board. I do like that, it is very, very nice. And I do like the little upgrade, so well done, Hurley. Metal D-rings, a little bit of a GoPro mount on the front of the board, and the three clickable fins that go underneath. Absolutely epic. So anyway, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll bring some more stuff to you. You're not gonna wanna see us paddling around for hours on end. It would only but get boring. But yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. But until next time, we will. You gotta say it, mate. Say, see you soon. Here we go. See you soon.